Hey everybody, I'm Shopnullah, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be continuing part 2 on the origami Triceratops by Jun Maikawa. So in part 1, we were here, as you can see, here's the back side. Okay, and so, uh, well, let's just start, okay. Alright, so the next step is... So the next step is to take this corner and fold it to this corner. So please. And uh, oh, and if you're looking for part one, then uh, go to this annotation. Okay. So and then um. Oh, uh, one second. Oops, uh, 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 you weren't uh, even supposed to splash it. Uh, I'm very sorry. I'm very, very, very sorry. Uh, okay, sorry about that. And uh, what we were supposed to do is uh, take this edge and fold it to uh, this edge. Okay, so it's like this. Okay, crease very sharply. Okay. And now, now what you're going to do is, you're going to do something similar to the Origami Western Dragon by Jumai Kawa also. Um, so yeah, uh, if you folded that, then you will realize what we are going to do. Okay, what we're going to do is take this edge and fold it all the way up. Okay, like, like that. And then look here. Okay. We're going to make a line that starts from this, this point to... Um, with this point okay you see there's this crease right here see this crease the ending of that crease is where you want want it to go okay so it's like that see and then once you've got it you can uh, make a line so uh, that ends right here right at that point okay there Okay, you, you don't need to worry about this one because that's already folded. Okay. And then you're going to do two squash folds here. So this one, take this edge and fold it to this edge. Work your way up if you want. There. Here, easy as that. Okay. And repeat here. There, there, just like that. Okay, and now you wanna pull this edge down. Okay, and you're going to fold it, fold this flap over, and as you can see, this flap won't fly flat. Okay, so what we're going to do is just simply flatten it, fold it down. Like that. Okay, and now we are going to make a squash fold. Okay, so let's uh, valley fold. Open this pocket. Okay. And fold it down. Okay. Like that. Okay. And your model will look like this, right? Now let's take this corner and fold it to here. <laughs> there. And uh, so yeah. I forgot that. Sorry about that. Okay, uh now um now let's make a mountain fold along this edge. Okay. And take this corner and fold it to here. And flatten this. So repeat here, make a mountain fold along this edge, like that, and take this corner and pull it to here, like so. Alright, next step. Uh, next step is to um, take these two corners and just unfold them, okay, so pull it down, this down, yes like that okay and now take uh fold this corner down and now take this edge fold it to this crease like this make sure it starts at the corner match it up with that crease and once you've got it down just crease it there like so and you want to unfold that 
and now you want to repeat it on the other side, the opposite side. There, just like that, and unfold. And now make a line that starts uh, that starts uh, at the point uh, at the ending of this crease and goes to the ending of this crease. Okay, so it goes to the these two points. Okay. And now here's a shortcut. You can just uh, you can just take this corner and line it up with the diagonal line. Okay, it will just automatically fall itself onto that point. Okay, like that. Okay. Like so, and now you wanna take this edge, fold it to this edge, but only crease up to the diagonal. Okay. There and only crease up to the diagonal. There, unfold and repeat here. Like so. There. Okay. And now make a rabbit ear. So fold those two creases at once and make this point stick up. Just like that. There. Okay. And just uh, fold it either way. I'm going to fold it to the left. I mean right. Sorry. Okay. Now we need to make two mounted. Okay. So uh, they start from this point. They start from this point to this the, to the center. Okay. So oh oh uh, here's a shortcut. Uh, you can fold this up and valley fold between this point and this point. Okay. So yeah, this is a really easy way. But don't fold this small flap. Okay, that's the horn of the triceratops. See, it's like that. Can you repeat here. You can also um, take this edge and fold it to this edge. There are many, many reference points. Well, actually, three. <laughs> there, and fold it down now. Okay. Um. Alrighty. Okay, now you want to fold this edge completely down, just like that. Okay, and now now let's um, take this edge and fold it to this line, only on the first layer. Okay, so it's like this. There, see it's like that, and then take this edge and fold it to here as well. Don't unfold. Okay. Okay, and now you want to make two valley folds along this line and this line. Once again, only on the first layer. And uh, there, just like that. And there. And once you've got them down, you're going to make sure that these creases are still intact and fold this back down. And you really want to make sure that they don't get unfolded they're like that. But you want to make sure that they're still folded like that okay. and your model will look like this see and now okay mm. okay now now take this corner and fold it to this corner simple as that and fold it underneath okay. here. fold it underneath uh, this that okay That's simple enough, I guess. Okay. And now let's take this edge and pull it to this the center line. You really want to coax it to get there? Okay. Just try to coax it. But you want to avoid coaxing okay, because that's one of the flaws of our gun. Well, not a not a good <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And crease sharply. Unfold. And repeat here. I didn't know what I was talking about. Yeah, there. Okay. Now let's make a rabbit ear on this uh, this uh, uh, this flap right here. So uh, make a valley fold along this line. Okay. And make this point uh, stick up like that. There. There. Okay. And fold it down. 
Yeah, just like that, see? Okay, so the next step is going to be a bit hard. Okay, what you're going to do is unfold this flap and you want to keep unfolding, okay, and push here. Uh, stretch these two flaps, okay. And try to make this uh, puff, puff out, okay. Uh, you want to keep puffing it out until this is a right triangle, okay. So keep it going, okay, keep it carefully going and make sure that this is a right triangle and once you've got it make flat it down okay this is called a spread squash fold or spread spread sink okay. in other words okay, fix this yeah okay and repeat here open this keep push, uh, keep pushing here puffing it out and Make it a right triangle. There, like that. Please. Okay. See, I hope you. I hope you. I. Uh, I hope you were able, able to understand that. Okay. Okay. Mm. All right. Now let's uh, fold this flap up. Okay, and make a mountain fold like that. There. And now, now fold uh, this flap uh, underneath this very, very small tip. Okay. So just fold it over, getting it out of the way, and then you can fold it. Okay. Like so, make uh, that fold. Okay, like so. And then you can then fold this flap back again. There. Okay. And repeat here. Make that mountain fold. Okay, make a line that starts from this point to this point. Fold it up. There. Okay, next up is um, um one second. Oh no, I did it wrong. <laughs> I did it correctly. Okay, uh, next step is um, just to focus on this area. Okay. Uh, one second. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, next step is um, get this tiny flap out of the way again. And there's going to be a small flap here. You see? See this small flap? We're going to pull it out. Okay, keep pulling it, pulling it. Okay, and I'm gonna pull it with the left finger too. Keep pulling it, pull, pull, pull. And once you've got it all the way pulled out, uh, I mean there's no uh, folded edge here. Just swatch. It will look like this. Okay. I know this is tricky, but you have to do that. And repeat here. There. Okay. And your model will look like this. Okay. Next step is to um. All right. We are almost done with the base. Now let's um. Now let's uh, swing this flap behind. Okay. Which, um. Oh. Also, you need to take this corner and hold it to this corner. Like that. For me, um, there, that, okay. All right, now let's uh, take this wool flap and swing it backwards, okay? And make a mountain fold. It starts from this point to this point, and really try to make it sharp, okay? Okay, and your model will look like this. Okay, now this is these are the front legs. Okay, what you're going to do is reverse. So um, there are there are three layers, right? Okay, when to fold, make the reverse fold at the first layer. Okay, and you want to reverse fold it at its root. So this is its root. Okay, and you want to reverse fold it like that. Now this is just a taste. Okay, 
but you want to make sure it starts at the root of the clock and position it however you want. Maybe like that. Okay. And repeat here, open the first layer and reverse it. And uh, at the second leg, you want to make sure that uh, these are symmetrical. Okay. Alright, now let's fold them all in half. Oh, so this is the front one. Wow, that is really clever. I never even realized that. Okay. And I'm going to turn these are folded. Okay. And your model will look like this. Okay. And this is the base. Okay. See? So yeah, it's a really clever one. I haven't folded this in a while. Um, last time I folded it was back in 2013, I think. Folded it with tracing paper. Okay. Very thick tracing paper. Okay, please. There. Okay. And your model will look like this. Okay, and this is the base. Alright, time for the shaping, which is the most fun part for me. Alright, so now let's focus uh, just one more step for the head. What we're going to do is just pull this front uh, horn thingy and pull it out. Like so, okay. And pull it out until this this corner hits this edge, okay. So now keep pulling, keep pulling, and see this corner hits this corner hits the edge. And then pop. See we look like this. This is a really cool tracer top set. I love it. Okay. And make sure everything's nice and flat. Okay. And now now you wanna pull this uh, flap out, take this flap and pull it out. And pull it back. Okay, now you want to make sure everything's nice and flat and sharp. And then you want to make a reverse fold along these edges. Okay, so you can uh, unfold it partially, make a valley fold along this line. Okay, unfold. Make a valley fold along this line. Okay. Like so. And then make those two valley folds at once. And make this a mountain fold. And close it up. Here. And that, folks, is the body of the triceratops. Okay. And now let's. Right. Uh, okay, now let's look inside the inside of the triceratops. Okay, and we are going to make this mountain fold. And we're going to take this mountain fold, take it, and bring it to this edge. There. Okay, please. Okay. And then you're going to take this mountain fold and fold it to this edge. So basically, it's, we just did an inside the first one. Okay. I just made it easier for you. Yeah, so I did. Make it easier for you. There, okay. And now, let's fold these pops up. So take this one, pull it up. And make sure that the paper doesn't drift like that. Okay, we want it to lie flat. And it's like that, and I'll turn over and repeat here. And, uh, okay, like that. And now unfold and unfold. I mean, undo that. Okay. And now let's um. Okay. Now you wanna make an inside reverse fold. Okay, along the line you just made. Okay. So. Let's rotate it, okay, and we are going to open the first pocket, and turn this fold into a mountain fold, yeah, and pull this down, and make this as a valley fold, there, okay, it will look like this, yeah, yeah. 
This part is really quick. Yeah, and run over and repeat here. Hmm, looks like a triceratops already. Okay, now, now let's make a reverse hole along this side. Okay, so it's better to pre crease it first. Okay, um, so make a line along this side. So just hold it down and match it up with this edge. Be precise and sharp. Unfold and now let's reverse fold it. Okay, so unfold it, make this as a mountain fold. Okay, make this as a mountain fold and turn this into a valley fold. And closing the model up. Okay, now as you can see, uh, it won't go in, so just take that leg flap, put it um, right there, and free it. Okay. There. Alright. <laughs> Um, now look inside and valley fold along this line. Simple as that. And close it up again. Okay. Um, oops. Oh, sorry. I pulled it a bit, a bit too much. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, now you need to make a mountain fold along this edge. That be precise. Okay, and one there only. There. And you wanna take this corner and you wanna fold it and fold it until you see that this edge, this edge matches up with this edge. Okay. So just uh, keep pulling it and pulling it down until you see that this edge meets this that edge. There like that. See? And then once you've got it, just crease. And then turn over and repeat here. So take, make this mountain fold. And in here you want to make just a mountain fold like that. Okay. And like that. There. Okay. And as you can see, this turned into like a, an outside reverse fold. Okay. And now look inside. Okay. And. Now this flap here, you're going to turn it backwards, okay? So just unfold this reverse fold by putting a thumb inside. Just pushing that crease, okay? There, just close it up simply. There, okay. Now let's reverse fold uh, the back, back legs, okay? Um, so in order to do that, what we're going to do is Mm, one second. Okay. What we're going to do is first valley fold it, simply like that, and make sure that um, you leave a small gap here. So you're not going all the way to the corner; just leave a small gap. And you also want to make sure that these are like a straight line or something. Okay. See uh, the legs go through a straight line. Imagine a straight line. Okay. See, so, yeah, here's a real straight line. I'm just going to uh, place these legs in here. And there. Okay, see, it's adjacent. Not exactly adjacent. And I'll crease that real sharp. Okay. And now let's reverse fold it. Okay, so unfold. And you want to reverse fold it on the first there. Okay. So. And now you want to make a swivel fold that starts from this corner to nowhere. Okay. What I mean is that you want to make one that starts from this corner, and here there is no reference, so it's just a taste. Okay. And a squash is an that there is a reference for that also. So just fold it like this. Just like that. Okay. And now unfold this a little bit. Put your finger inside and turn that valley piece you just made into a mountain. Okay. So just keep 
working the way inside. You can open it a bit. Turn this into a mountain pool. Not and tap this part inside. <laughs> there, okay. It will look like this. And now let's hold this flap like that. And then you're going to see this like that. And then you're going to take open this flap and tuck this corner, tuck, tuck this flap inside. And there. And the flap is locked. Okay, so you can unfold it. Okay. And it will look like this. Okay. Alright. Now, now let's repeat all of uh, what we did in the back side. Okay. So you can either go back, okay, and uh, look at what I did. Uh, so I'm just because I'm gonna, I'm just going to skip here. And our tracer tops is nearly done. Okay. And um, okay, next what we're going to do is focus on the head. Okay. Seven sixty-eight. Okay, so we're going to take step sixty-eight. Okay, so on step sixty-eight, what we're going to do is just simply tuck this inside. Can okay. open this a little bit. And mount it forward. And close it back up. Yeah, like that. Okay, and now you're going to push the uh, forehead uh, to make it three D. Okay. Uh, it's how Triceratops is like. Okay. Um, um, one second. Oh, wow. Uh, we are supposed to uh, fold these uh, flaps. Flap. Okay. And you're going to take this flap. Okay. Take this uh, one. And just pull it a little bit. Okay. Making it a point. Okay. And there. There. It's like a horn. Okay. Well, it is a horn. Make it like a horn. And repeat here. Yeah. And uh, make them point a little bit like that. Okay. And we'll push it again. And now let's. Okay, so uh, for the one second, yeah. All right, so uh, for the these legs, what we're going to do is make an outside reverse. Fold, okay, so fold it, fold this up. There, fold it up. Maybe like that much. Oops. There, maybe that. And then um, we're going to outside reverse them again, so you can open them up okay. and make a sort of rabbit ear, and then close it back up. There, like that. Okay. And then tuck. Uh, what you're going to do is uh, tuck this flap in just a little bit to blunt the tail. Okay. Make it more tracer top flap. Like that, uh, and inside reverse. Okay. Not really sure if you can see the flap. Yeah. Okay, and that's one of the foot. Okay. Repeat on the other side. And try to make uh, both of the sides equal. front legs and for these legs you do the same thing okay.
Okay, those are the legs. Okay, and now let's. Um, Um, okay, now what you're going to do is open the back part and push in the back, okay? Making it up around, okay? Yeah, try to make it a round fat body, stubby little body. Like triceratops. Okay, and try to shape it like a triceratops, you can curl the horn a bit. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like a bull, something. Yeah, or like a triceratops, obviously. And try to shape the front horn, the forehead horn, tail, maybe curl it a little bit. Here, you can do anything you want. Okay, and, and, but there it is. You are gonna twist your tops, but you might have one. And you can even stand. Isn't that awesome? Show you. There. Gah! Gah! I'm not sure if that's the Triceratops. <laughs> okay, so here is the Origami Triceratops. And I hope you guys enjoyed holding with me. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So, see you next time. Bye.